In this video, we're going to talk about uncrating your machine and setting it up on a, on a sturdy table. Um, your machine will come into a crate. Uh, it's going to be cardboard bound. Uh, it's going to take a couple people to lift it up. Uh, when you lift it up, when you lift up the uh, machine, you want to grab it from the sides over here. You don't want to grab it from the table, okay? So have a couple people lift it up out of the crate and you want to set it on a, on a table. Now the table we're using here is a five foot long table. It's about three and a half feet deep. Okay, and this is a U-line table so it's very sturdy. The machine weighs about 230 pounds and uh, so you want to get a nice sturdy table. In setting up the machine, what you want to do is you want to take all the stuff off, the, off of it. You're going to have a toolbox that's going to have all your accessories in it. So you can remove that from the machine. You're also going to have Coleman and Company Spangle Tape uh, uh, brochure, which actually comes with all the colors and holographic. You have the shiny as well as the matte flat colors here. That you want to keep in handy. And then you're going to have some test prints that we've have done on this machine before it got shipped to you. And uh, you can throw these away or whatever. And we'll take the new old newspaper off. Now when you set up your machine on your table, you want to make sure the, 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 ta the machine is level. Any, any standard level will work to set it on there. And you want to make sure it's level in the front, left to right. And then we'll slide the table over this way and we'll slide the level this way and make sure it's level front to back. Now if your table has leveling feet and you're, you show your machine is not level, then of course you want to adjust your leveling feet. You want to level out the table. Once we have done that, you're going to want to come to the back of the machine. Because the machine is shrink wrapped, these, these waste wheels may be sitting on the table just like this. So set them up in their, in their spots if they are, just like this. And then inspect the, inspect the machine. You're looking for any damages from shipping. You want to move the frame forward and backwards. Make sure that it has some free, nice free motion. Also, left and right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to power on the machine. Supply power to machine. On the back, on the right hand side, you will see your power outlet here. And your power cord will be in your toolbox. So you want to plug the power cable in. and then plug it into the wall. I recommend plugging it into a power strip for surge protection or a DC line cleaner if your house is older and has older electricity to it. Once you power it in, we can now power on the machine. To power on the machine, just take the, the red knob and turn it up. And now on the control panel, you see the control panel will power up. Right now it's doing system initialized. And every now and then, uh, you may get this error message, especially after the machine has been moved. It's called SP Unit Fix Error Number 6. And what it's telling you is the, the color change mechanism that allows the colors to change has shifted during shipment or, or during movement. To fix it, underneath the red switch, you'll see this motor right here. And on the left-hand side of that motor is a little silver dial. Now, as I turn that dial, you'll see the head is going to change colors here. Turn, keep turning it until the beeping goes away. Turn it slowly. There it goes. Once we've done that, then I'll go to the machine, press unit change, which is going to allow me to change, change colors. And right now it doesn't see that it's on any particular press unit. So I'm just going to hit the speed up button to make that say one and hit set. And the machine self adjusts. Now when we go to unit change, now it's showing a one. And now we could manually, uh, electronically change colors. And that fixes that problem. What we're going to do is we're going to set up the machine. Now the machine comes with six different press units. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And each one of these, uh, the first two are actually my two millimeter punches. So we, uh, we, we can actually do two different colors of two millimeter. The next three are your three millimeter punches. Okay, so you can do three different colors in three millimeter. And your last one in four millimeters. So at this time, it's good to actually pull out of the box that came with your machine of your uh, startup kit. 
the colors that you want to use for two millimeters, three millimeters, and your four. Okay, so I have a specific design in mind. So I'm going to run purple two millimeter, silver two millimeter, green three millimeter, and purple four millimeter, three millimeter red, three millimeter in gold, and a four millimeter in the royal blue. Now you'll see that in the front we have the spangle tape all taped up on the front of the machine so that makes it easier for you to uh, put the new spangles on without having to go all the way through to the back. So you want to pull this tape off on each one of these. Now one of the, one of the things you're going to want to have in, on hand is a tape dispenser because you do use a, 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 a lot of tape. For tape and spangles reels together you'll see and then the, finally the four millimeter there we go now in your toolbox you're going to have a bag of the bobbin shafts and spring sets okay and you have nine sets of these so you have three spare after we get done using it so in this bag you're going to pull out six of the bobbin springs, one for each press unit, or one for each reel. Now if the top comes off, it's no big deal. Just uh, snap it back onto the top. Two more. And then number six. go that's our six bobbin springs and then you'll have these bobbin shafts you got to pull out six of those too there we go we'll put the rest back in our toolbox now what we want to do we want to take our bobbin reels I'm going to do silver first, and you'll see that there's a little bit of tape on it. Go ahead and just pull the tape off. Set it aside. I usually set my tape right up there. Now, with the bobbin color facing you, you want to put a bobbin shaft in the right hand side, right in the center. And you want to take the spring and set it to the left. Now, the spring goes in. Now, you want to compress that spring in your hand. So now I'm holding the bobbin. The bobbin shaft on the right and the spring on the left and what you want to do is you want to get the bobbin around this uh, uh, this unwind uh, arm it's called it's called the back sway bar so I'll just wrap it just like this and then set the bobbin reel right into its carrier right there now let's try that one again there we go so I'll just wind this up a little bit more and I'm holding the bobbin with the color towards me. I go around that sway bar. I come forward and set it right into its carrier. Just like that. Now, you, the way you want to feed this through is simply you want to go on, it goes over this top roller here, and then it goes behind the first plastic roller here. Okay? And then we'll tape these two ends together. So I'll take a piece of tape. And then lay the tape lengthwise and place the spangle in the middle. See, we have to go through this little narrow slot down here. And if we bunch up the tape or we overwrap the spangle with the tape, it won't fit through there. So take the spangle that's on the machine, line it up with the other one, just like this. There we go. And then just fold the tape over. There we go. So now, what I'll do is if uh, if you look in the back here, you can see the the waste reel right here. Okay. So I'm going to be pulling this just like this. And now from the front, what I want you to see, my tape section's right here, and I do not want the the little plastic guide uh, to pull it apart. So I'm just going to work it while I'm while I'm rotating the waste reel in the back towards me and now once the tape comes down to the press I'm going to push the tape through it 
and that'll eliminate any possibility of this tape coming apart inside that little narrow press, okay? And then I could just keep winding it back here. And I'll look and I can see when the tape has reached there. there there's the tape section right there. And that's press unit number one already done. We'll go ahead and do number two again. Take the tape off the, off the uh, spangle. Hold it so the color is facing you. Bobbin shaft goes in the right hand side. Spring goes in the left. Hold it together, hold the bobbin, I mean the, uh, the spangle tape. Make sure it goes around the back sway bar. Set the reel into its carrier. Go behind the first roller. Take yourself a piece of tape. Lay it right in the center. Lay your sp uh, spangle tape right in the center of the tape. Take the tape, the tape to spangle that's on the machine, and line it up right behind the purple, just like that, and then fold the tape around. You don't want to go around two times with the tape, okay? Just one. Now make sure it fits through there. I'll reach behind to the back roller, right here, and I'll start to bring it through. Now you'll see what happens on the front is the spangle is starting to go through. And when it comes down to the guide, I'll push the tape behind the guide so the guide doesn't pull it apart. And once the tape section comes towards my narrow uh, press punch unit, I'll start pushing the tape through the punch, and then I'll start reeling it in from the back side. And then I'll do this until I start to see purple on the waist reel. And that way there, I know it's all the way through. And there it is. You want to re, uh, keep doing that for all six of them. Your hands may not be big enough to actually hold the bobbin shaft and the spring like I can on both sides and then feed it through like I was doing. If that's the case, what you want to do is you want to pull enough, bob, pull enough spangle tape out so it goes all the way down to here. And then because spangle is oftentimes overwound on the bobbin, you don't want this coming off the, off the bobbin like so. So I'll place a piece of tape right over the top, just like this, to prevent that from happening. And what I'll do is I'll put my bobbin shaft in, the right side, my bobbin spring, and I'll put it in the carrier, just like so, and I'll wind it towards the back. The tape there, that's going to keep your, your spangle on the reel. Just rotate it around the back, just so this back flap lays across the top of the sway bar in the back. The sway bar is this, this arm in the back right here, okay? You want the spangle tape to be laying right over top of it, just like this. So I'll set the spangle tape, the bobbin, right into the carrier, just like that. And I'll wind it like this. I'll take the spangle tape. Go underneath the sway bar, come to the front, grab it, pull it through. So I'm, so, so I'm wrapped around that sway bar, bring it down, take a piece of tape, put it on the spangle tape just like this, and just like this. All right, wrap the tape around the back side of it. There you go, and I'll cut any loose ends like this. I don't want it, I don't want the tape to fall apart on me. Now I'll start pulling from the back, like I did on the other one. Guide the tape, okay? through the back roller. Oh, before you do that, make sure you remove the tape from the bobbin reel that we used to hold it in place. And now we'll pull it through, push the tape behind the guide, and then push the tape through the press unit all the way, and then continue to roll the waste reel towards you, just like that. And I'm looking at the back reel, and I'll see the tape. There's my tape section, so I'll 
right there and I'm done. After you're done pulling your bobbin through, you want to, or your spangle through, you want to look in the back and make sure that the tape is right in the middle of these rollers. Now you can see right here, this one here has got a little bound up. To fix that, just push down on the release lever and then once you do that, the tape will make uh, will work itself free. This one here, I'm just going to release this one here. Wind that up a little bit. And do the same thing. You just want to make sure that all your spangle tape is in the center. You also want to look and see your guides back here, your plastic guides. You want to make sure all your plastic guides are in place. All right, you have one, two, three, four, five, and six plastic guides. Now also too, you see this guide here is actually, uh, it kind of uh, bulges outwards and that's what you want. So you want to look at these and make sure they're all like that. There we go, and if they're not, just stick your finger underneath of it and just pull it forward a little bit. There we go. And that's it.